Hello everyone, my name is Justin Wright, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Mandela from this. This is what I'm going to be making out of this. Some of the controls I'm going to be using are the Rectangular Select tool, the Move tool, and the Rotate tool. I will also be using control buttons, and buttons such as Layer, Duplicate Layer, and layer, transform, arbitrary rotation. We will start off by going to image, canvas size. The width shows up as 960. We'll type in 1000. We'll, the height that shows up as 601, we'll type in 500. That means the height is half of the width. The width is 1000, the height is 500, and we'll click Resize. Next, we'll go over to the Layers menu. We will cl right-click on the uh, image, and we'll click Merge Visible Layer, Merge. Next, we'll go to Layer, Transform, Arbitrary Rotation. The angle shows up, we will type in 75 degrees, and we'll click Rotate. Next, we will click the Move tool. We'll click the left mouse button. We'll uh, hold it and drag it so the corner lines up. We'll click the uh, Control button and the middle mouse button forward to zoom in. Make sure it fits at the bottom, and it does. Next, we will click the rotation rectangular select tool. We will click the left mouse button. We will hold it and drag it all the way down, making sure it covers the bottom, covers the right, and covers. Oh, I have to redo it. Okay, covers the left, covers the bottom, covers the right, and covers the top. Next, we will right click on the mouse button, we will click edit, copy, we will right click on the mouse button again, click edit, paste as, new image. Now we have an image here, we want to go to image canvas size, we want to make the width 2000. We want to make the height 2000. And resize. Notice we have well enough room uh, enough room to make a Mandela. We will then click on the Move tool, click on the left mouse, button, left mouse button, and move all the way down. Click Layer, Duplicate, Layer, Transform, Flip Horizontally. We'll click the Move tool, we'll click the left mouse button, and drag this over here. Zoom in with the control and the left mouse button, uh, the middle mouse button, uh, forward. Make sure it lines up uh, really good. Perfect. And we will click either this image or that image. It doesn't matter. We'll click Merge Visible Layer, Merge. Next, we'll zoom out with the control button and the middle mouse button uh, backwards. We'll click Layer Duplicate. We'll click the Move tool. We'll click the right, uh, we'll click the left mouse button and hold it and drag it up like that. Next, we will click the Rectangular Select tool. 
we will go around the image with it. Notice the yellow line around right here. We want the yellow line to go around the image. So we're going to, now it's now rectangular select is around the image. We'll click layer, crop to selection, select none. Next, we will click the rotation tool, click on the image with the left mouse button, and we will go to the angle and type in 30 degrees. 30, we'll type in 30 and we'll click rotate. Next, we will click the move tool, click on the left mouse button and drag this down so it lines up. We'll click on either image. We'll click right click merge visible layer merge and we'll click layer duplicate next we will uh, click layer or we'll click rotate and we'll click on the image and we'll type in 60 degrees click rotate Click on the move tool, click on the left mouse button, zoom in with the left, uh, with the control button and the middle mouse button going forward, line it up, right like that. Next we'll go to layer duplicate. Layer transform. I mean, we'll go to uh, rotate. We'll click on the image and we'll rotate to 60 degrees. So, first time 30 degrees, second time 30 degrees, and six, third time, first time 30 degrees, second time 30 degrees, and third time 60 degrees. We'll click the move tool, we'll click the left mouse button and move it, line it up. Next we'll click on either one of these images, right click, merge visible layer, merge. Next we'll go to layer duplicate, layer transform. Rotate 180 degrees. We'll click the move tool. We'll left click on the image, drag it over so it lines up. That should be it. We'll check, double check. Oh, it's a little off. There we go. And we will zoom out. We will click on either image, click Merge Visible Layer, Merge. Next, we'll click the Rectangular Select tool. We'll go around the Mandela, something like, make sure it's sort of even on the sides. Something like that. We'll click, we'll right click on the mouse button. We'll click edit, copy, we'll right click on the mouse button again, click edit, paste as, new image. Next we will click on the magic wand. Oh wait, that messed me up. Uh, next we will click on the rectangular select tool. And we will do something around like this. And we will right click the mouse right click on the mouse button. We'll click edit, copy, we'll right click on the mouse button again, edit, 
paste as new pattern and we'll click OK on the new pattern if you don't know where the patterns is you can go to Windows Dr. Will Dialogs and find patterns click on patterns and it should show up notice the image that I just put into it is on the top left corner we'll now we will click on the magic wand and we'll click on the transparency next we will click on the uh, we'll click the left mouse button on the uh, image of the pattern and we will hold it and drag it over the transparency now we got something like that we can go and do something like color invert if you don't like that you could do color value invert and then color invert which in this case isn't going to work that work out that well so we'll do un edit undo invert edit undo in value invert we'll stick with something like that then we will go to filter distort kaleidoscope And you can just do whatever you want with it with the kaleidoscope do something like this maybe like a flower or something click OK select none notice there's transparency now so you might want to right click on the uh, layer click uh, click on the bottom flatten image and notice the background was purple so it ended up purple and that's how you make a mandela with gimp thanks for watching